so in this video, I know it looks like I'm starting off with a big mess here, but we're going to need it. Uh, I'm going to be plotting an inverse proportion. That means I'm going to be drawing the graph of an inverse proportion. So I'm continuing on from the work example from the last video, which was uh, calculating the, the general rule. Now we know that the general rule is y equals 20 on x. So that's really the only thing we need to do here. The question we're answering though is plot a graph of the relationship between x and y, the values of x from 2 to 10. Okay, so let's try that bit out. I'm going to get rid of all of this mess. And all we're going to keep is this bit here, y equals 20 on x, and our question. Okay, so we're going to plot a graph of the relationship between x and y for values of x from 2 to 10. And this is the rule we're using, y equals 20 on x. You can see I've drawn a little x and y axis. And we're going with values of x from 2 to 10. This is our x axis here. This is our y axis. All right, now to do this, I'm going to need one of these little things. You've seen these before x, y, and it says we want x values between from 2 to 10. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This next bit's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is put this x value into this equation and see what the answer is. So y equals 20 over 2, that's 20 divided by 2. If you put that in a calculator, or maybe you can do it in your head, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay, and we need to go down that list and do that uh, for all of them. So y equals 20 divided by 3. Uh, that's, uh, you can take my word for it, it's 6.67 or 6.66 recurring. Uh, y equals 20 divided by 4. That's 20 divided by 4, that's going to be 5. This one's going to be uh, 4. I'm going to fill in the rest of these. Okay, I've filled them all out. 2, 10, 3, 6.67, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, 3.33, etc, etc, etc. Now, the last step, really, is to put them in here. So when x equals 2, y equals 10. So let's fill some stuff in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nearly gone off there. Okay, there's our first point, 3, 6.7, about here. Oops. It's easier on a piece of paper. 3, 6.6, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, 3.33. 3, 7, 2.86, 8, 2.5, 9, 2.22, and 10 is 2. Now what you can see is you get this really nice little curve. Starts up here, it curves. Okay, that's how you plot an inverse proportion. You'll know you've got it right because you'll get this nice little curve like that in.